one of the things that you guys, well, well Bill T. Jones actually touched on, touches on in the documentary is that, you know, he felt so much pressure from, um, you know, the, the board, the patrons and things like that. And I know for you, Robert, you know, you guys have, you know, a Herculean task of raising so much money. You know, um, I, I come to the, the, the gala every single December. It's always the highlight of of my holiday season, um, being with you guys, but I know what work it, the work that it takes, um, for you, because I know you also, you know, you burst onto the scene at Alvin Ailey baby. And you were like, Oh, I'm about to blow the lid off of it. And I remember your first, your first gala and you came out on that stage and you were you, which is brightly technicolor and, and bold and, and you really didn't take no tea for the fever. Um, um, but, and you know, so for you, uh, how do you get past that kind of, um, well, have you gotten past that kind of uh, pressure that you feel from the board or from the, uh, people that are the traditionalists of Alvin Ailey, because you have incorporated so much modern dance into it. You've incorporated so many kind of modern sets and modern costumes, all of it. Do you, so how do you allude that? How does that elude you? Well, that, you know, I think that. I've been fortunate in the sense that, you know, of course, I mean, Judith Jamison, of course, was Mr. Ailey's muse. Um, and although she, she, of course, was close to him, but when she, he had died, you know, when she took over the company at his mm-hmm. request. And so he didn't necessarily, she didn't necessarily have him in her ear, but I, in real time, had Judith Jamison, who would either mm. text or phone calls. She would always mm-hmm. say, especially those first couple of years, I chose you because of your singular voice. Trust mm-hmm. what you have to say and that that is what is needed. This company. What yes. better gift to have the person who carried the mantle from Alvin Ailey himself tell you whatever's in your heart and in your head is the right way forward. So that was that really helped me make... I would say bold decisions. Um, even when you know I was faking some sense of be- feeling, you know, <laughs> confident. But, you know, we're yeah. performers; we know how to do that. Fake it till you make it. Yes. But I also felt such support. I have to say, from the audience, you know, mm-hmm. and I think that has something to do with black tradition. You know, yes. when you you pass things on, you know, everybody goes, "Okay, baby, you got this." We were mm-hmm. not, we got you. That thing I felt very much in every city we went to and everything. I mean, people definitely would look me up and down, but once they <laughs> saw that, that I came to stay, I felt that people really wrapped their arms around me in the way we do in our culture and move yes. the thing forward. Yeah. Yes. 